Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here with Imperial Assault, The Return to Hoth. This is our last hope. This is starting with round six. Our heroes so far have gone in and managed to crash a ship, a Star Destroyer. They've taken over. Soren has escaped. They had some assassin droids after them. And the question now is, can they save Haven? That's what this episode is all about. Our last hope. The entire bridge flickers and goes dark. The ever-present hum of engine dulls. Data pads slide from the desk as the ship lifts aimlessly and the floor drops from beneath your feet. You hopelessly brace for impact as the snow-capped mountains of Isan reach up to pierce the plummeting Star Destroyer. Remove all figures from the map. Continue. And here we are. We're shaking around on the ship and we're going to go crash. Coughing up smoke and ice, you dig yourselves out of the wreckage. The last thing you remember is the horrific screeching of the shearing hull and blasts of snow crashing through the viewport. Remove tiles 36A. Continue. The broken shark ship carved a flaming ravine through the mountains, finally crunching to a stop when it hit the largest peak overlooking Haven's Fields and makeshift defense station. Place tiles. Continue. As the world finally stops spinning, you struggle to your feet. A new round has started. Deploy each hero to a different space, indicated space. Continue. Supply caches are, hid are hidden across the battlefield. Place three crates. Heaven's gates miraculously still stand, but with Soren's troops already besieging the village, they won't hold for long. Place four doors. These are the barricades. See additional rules for the barricades at the bottom of this screen. So you'll see they'll have 15 health, 2 defense. Figures do not block line of sight for the barricades. So if an imperial would have no target, it attacks the closest barricade if able. Continue. The outermost gate shows sign of damage from Soren's orbital assault. The two indicated have suffered eight damage and continue and of course we get his pet project the assault on haven deploy the sc 2-m repulsor tank with plus eight health continue and we get snow troopers elite Continue. And a probe droid. Elite. No surprises there. Continue. You watch Imperial Flood across, crashing down on the two paths into Haven. But you remember Benex mentioning secret tunnels in its village's defense. You could use these tunnels to react to the siege. Place two green, yellow, and red mission tokens. These are tunnels. Rebels can move between the matching tunnels as if they were in adjacent spaces. Continue. You catch glimpses of villagers peeking from their windows, and you realize that you are the last hope for the people trapped inside Haven. Objective updated. Defend the outer gates. Continue. Round six. I was starting to worry you weren't coming back. Benek shouts on the top of the old defense turret. Glad to have some real soldiers on our side. Choose an Imperial figure within four spaces of the highlighted spaces and roll one red die. That die suffers uh, damage. So we do have one, two, three, four, and four, and four. 
Okay, so since we're going to do a maximum of three damage, I am going to go after the tank, but the tank is going to recover itself. I'm best off going after one of the troopers. So we'll go after trooper number two. And trooper number two suffers two damage. Continue. So the first question is, who and what do we go after first? The thing that causes the most damage is, of course, the repulsor tank. Odds are these guys are going to refresh themselves by one. And this guy is going to do some bad stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with Gideon. And Gideon is going to go on ahead and give the order to Finn to command. He's going to command Finn. And Finn is going to go on ahead and uh, shoot to take out number one. So we have a We will use Havoc Shot. Finn does have some stuff. So before... Oh, this isn't uh, Finn. So we can do... All we're going to have, of course, is the A280. With a Plasma Cell with the underbarrel. I like this setup. I'm just saying. Versus a black. Blue and green versus a black. Oh, wow. So that's four damage. Minus three is one damage to number one and one damage to each of the other ones. We will go on ahead and use Master Stroke, and Finn will shoot again. Okay, this is a little bit better. Uh, we don't have Havoc Shot going, because I'm going to need to save it for... Oh, Havoc Shot is... Just one. So, oh, we will definitely use Havoc Shot again. Sorry. So... Two, two, but we have this, which will give us a plus two. Four, and one each on the other two. And we will do command again. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Right? Can't shoot three. Yeah, we're going to do the same thing, and we will do have a shot again. That's not on there. Okay, so good news. We have plus two for the A280, or I can do an extra blast. So these guys are going to take the damage. And we're just going to do a plus two. So that is a total of six. And number one is out. This also brings an end to our hero's turn. That is enough for Gideon. Okay, 
advanced shields recover five. Gain a plus two damage. Can perform instructions. Move forward to attack the closest barricade. One, two, three. And he will go on ahead and attack this barricade at point blank range. Blue, red, and a yellow. And there's a minus two automatically. Oh, not good. So it's only gonna be a minus two. So that's 10 down. We'll go on ahead and finish. Move two. Okay. Nope. Nope. We're done. Finish. Okay. Finn's turn. Oh, this is nice. So we're going to shoot at number three. We have four. Perfect. Tax that up by one, but that's okay. Places. And you are do some friendly figure, declare an attack. So we are going to do one extra damage here. Blue and a yellow versus a black. We're going after number three. Which is the one that only has three damage. So the good news is, first of all, we're going to get two. That's five. This guy takes an extra one. Two is out. And Pro Droid takes an extra hit. And we will. Four. We're going to shoot. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to shoot the Pro Droid. Range of four. That's okay. So we easily make accuracy. Oh, plus there was an extra. It doesn't matter. Extra. Which we would have used this one onto here. So he's going to gain an extra damage. We'll get two damage. Celeste, this one. So this Sworn Trooper, Snow Trooper, is now out. And the probe droid takes had one, had a second one that was extra from the weapons cache. Takes two damage plus the surge, which is another two damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no. Okay, so that is all he is going to be able to do at this point. Oh, he has an extra endurance spell. So he is going to... Okay, so that is the end of Fen's turn. He recovers one strain. Move three to attack to the healthiest. Attack the healthiest level will suffer the most damage. If a healthy level cannot be targeted, target the closest barricade. One, two, three. Oh, this was a mistake. 
and blue, yellow, yellow versus a black. Oh, and we have Adrenaline Rush. Exhaust this card after an attack targeting you is resolved. If you suffered one or more, uh, test and recover three strain. So that is going to be good. Okay, so we have recover two. He's not going to blow up. Uh, plus two. That's going to be a total of one, two, three, four. So, yeah, he's hurting pretty bad. Okay. So, that means he's not going to self destruct. Yay. If any rebel suffer damage, okay, see this figure. Okay, that's self destruct. Move two to reposition three the closest barricade. One, two, three. Okay, finish. I got a little bit lucky on that one. Okay, Diala. Is going to move. Keep in mind, she has, we got a couple good cards. We've got the Dancing Weapon, which is really cool. We got a plus one movement, and Rough Terrain does not bother her. So, she can move a grand total of six spots. And we'll move one, two, three, four. Still has two left to be able to use if necessary. We will use, not force adapt. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we finish, we did not do the adrenaline rush. So he does a blue and a green. And we pass and we lose all of our strain. Okay, back to Diala. So Diala is going to start with Dancing Weapon. She will keep a strain. She has the Force Pike and the Stim. Can't use snap kick. Okay. So she is going to go on ahead and attack. She does have a blue, an extra blue die. So blue, red, yellow, yellow versus a black. Wow. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. So we have a plus one, a plus two, a plus three. So we just did two damage. And we'll take the two off of here. That gives him a plus six. And we're done with Dancing Weapon because we are going to use Snap Kick next. And we're going to go on ahead with our melee weapon. Do not get the blue. Okay, so this is... Wow. Okay, so we are going to exhaust this for a plus one. So that is out. We don't have any surges, so that's a three, four damage. Total. 
and it does recover. So that's one of the kind of a stinky things about this. Okay, that is the end of... Oh, snap kick! Roll one green. She take, it takes one more damage. So almost down to a space 10. And Diala's turn. We're going to go ahead and move two, three. And we'll take a shot at... So we are going to try and do, we are going to do this. Okay, so we can use create opening. Exhaust this card while hostile figures adjacent to you is defending applying minus one. So it gets a plus one damage. Perform two attacks. We can't use that combat momentum when adjacent hostile figures that can't, can't do that. So we are going to also use Create Opening. She takes a strain for the Create Opening. And we have a BL44 with an Overcharger. Hmm, I could use the Overcharger to get rid of the one die. Blue and yellow versus a black. And we will take blue, replace it with a red. And we end up doing with create opening. Goes on ahead and that's out. So three damage. And we have actually damaged the repulsor tank. That is the end of her turn. More Imperials pour into the snow. Alert all commands. Continue. Another vehicle pushes its way free from the wreckage. Deploy the ATST. Continue. Round seven. This is where we'll go on ahead and end. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please make sure that you like and subscribe. And I will see you again right back here and have an absolutely Great day. Please like and subscribe.